morning and praise the Lord. Let us pray our God and our Father in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this very good morning that once again here we are that God you may speak to us. Speak to us, dear Father, that even as we continue to feed on your word, we'll be impacted in our spiritual life and we live to witness of Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to our Wednesday morning devotion. And today is our, our congregational day of prayer, where we gather for prayers uh, this morning. And uh, also during lunch hour, we have prayers. And even uh, during the evening session, we have prayers that we come together and pray. And uh, being our day of prayer and being our day uh, whereby we continue to seek God to speak to us in his own ways. And uh, three things probably I mentioned before I read the text uh, of the day is that uh, prayer, uh, uh, the, propelling, the, pro the, uh, the propeller of, uh, uh, of prayer is the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that gives us uh, that uh, discernment that we may pray. It is the Holy Spirit that uh, gives us uh, 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 that strength, that energy that we can come out and pray. The Spirit of God uh, is there to even direct our thinking and to show us what we should pray for. What is this that we need even to bring before the Lord uh, when we are praying. So that means when we are praying, when we, are praying we don't just uh, go and pray with our thinking. We pray when we align ourselves with the thinking of God. When we pray, like at the time when Jesus prayed, he prayed and he said that not my will, but your will to be done. So in as much as we pray, we seek the Holy Spirit even to act on our prayers and for the will of God to be done. Today I want to just bring to us about the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of truth. Jesus Christ himself spoke to his disciples and told them that uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I've told you enough, but I've not told you anything. But when the Spirit comes, when you receive that gift that my Father will send to you, you'll be able to know the truth. And the Bible says that you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Allow me to read the word of God because I like uh, uh, reading the message from uh, uh, God and uh, so that we can uh, get few things from it. The Bible in John 16 verse 13 to 15, just two verses says, uh, John 16 verse 13 to 15 says that, but when he, the Holy Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will bring glory to me by taking from, uh, from what is mine and making it known to you. May all that belongs to the Father, all that belongs to my Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will take from what is mine, make it known to you. Thinking of the truth, thinking of how truth sometimes has been, uh, uh, has been compromised. You find that uh, uh, it is very difficult to find a truthful person. People lie for their selfish gain. People even do corruption, like the issue of corruption. You find that uh, 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 people uh, can, can even corrupt in uh, day, uh, uh, broad light. You are wondering which kind of spirit is, is leading them in doing those things that even their own conscience is not uh, warning them of the bad thing that they are doing. So truth to some people is something that is not in their vocabulary. That uh, every time there are people who are lying to one another, Every time they are doing, uh, everything they are doing, they must incorporate it with a lie. They, are, they, can, they can speak of a good thing, but they are covering it with a lie. I don't know if you are getting what I'm trying to say. That some people thought that uh, for something to appear good, they must coat it with a lie. For it to appear uh, uh, like it is sugarly, for it to appear like it's something that can make sense. Friends, here we are today as we enjoy the Holy Spirit in us, 
And this same Holy Spirit is what is reminding us today that wherever it seems good, whatever, even if it, it is not pleasant in the sight of people, let us be truthful people. If we believe, yes indeed, as the vicar shared with us on Sunday, that the Holy Spirit is for all of us, that we are filled, that no Christian, if at all you know that you are born again, if at all you know uh, that you are called by the name of Jesus, if at all you know that you have confessed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life, if at all you call yourself a Christian, you have the Holy Spirit. And if you have the Holy Spirit, friends, and the message this morning is that don't allow anything anything that is a lie to have any room even in our talk, even in our move, even in our discussion, even in our line of duty. Let, let us earn a clean, a clean uh, 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 a deal. Let us earn a clean deal. Let us earn a clean salary. Let us not be a, cor a, a corrupt people. Why? Because we have the Holy Spirit that is in us. We have the Holy Spirit in our hearts that is reminding us and telling us that all the time we are supposed to be truthful people. We are not supposed to even to enjoy what does not belong to us because we have lied. We should not use those fake certificates. We should not go out and, and, and try to forge other people's certificates to be ours. We should not go out there and say and, and do things that are, even we know that they are not right, but we are, uh, we are doing them. The Bible, uh, where I've read, is uh, that we say that uh, when he, the Holy Spirit, that all of us, we are a, a, a witness of the same, that when we receive, but when that spirit of truth comes to us, it will guide us in all the truth. That is what basically I was talking about, that that Holy Spirit, it is the spirit, it is the spirit of truth, and it will guide us in all the truth. I don't know if to some extent you find yourself uh, uh, lying or speaking that which is not the truth. One thing that you need to do, you need to repent. Number two thing that you need to do, you need to correct. In which way? Probably maybe you spoke the truth and you took somebody's bicycle. Even if you repent, even if you, when you go before the Lord, because it is true that He's faithful and just, and He forgives us our sin, that bicycle that belongs to your neighbor, that bicycle that belongs to a person that you know very well, as much as you have uh, repented, in as much as God has accepted your prayer uh, of repentance, have time to correct the mess. Take, to, take that bicycle to the owner. Take bicycle, that, that thing, I'm just using the bicycle as an example. I don't know, maybe it's money. You know that you have a, 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 a money that is not yours. You know that even you have a, a plot that you are living that is not yours. You know that there are things that you are enjoying now that are not, uh, that are not yours. The Bible speaks of the truth. The Bible speaks of the spirit of the truth. The Bible speaks of that spirit that spirit which will lead us to all the truth. I say in, and in that speak, he will not speak on his own. The spirit of truth, it will speak uh, only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come. So when we think of the spirit of truth, when we think of how now that spirit will lead us on everything which, which is yet to come, the, this is a promise. And brethren, allow me to just remind you that the, the Spirit of God uh, or, uh, 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 is in line with His promises. Because say that He will tell you on what is yet to come. And what is yet to come is the promise from our God. And the promise of God is yes and amen. God cannot vow or cannot promise what He cannot deliver. I don't know what God has promised you today. To some extent, we fail to receive what God has promised us because we are not truthful people. One thing, first thing, first, if you've been waiting God for a long time, if you've been expecting God to meet your needs for a long time, if you have waited to a verge of giving up, you have waited for so long, and now uh, 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 you say that now what I'm going to do, I, uh, I'll give up or I'll do it uh, in, a, in a different way. God, try to check uh, on your, your area of truthfulness. 
try to check if you are a truthful person and if you find that there is something that you need to do, uh, uh, please ensure that you correct it and correct it in a right way because Christ is speaking about the, uh, the spirit that will be sent to us by the Father. And uh, Christ here in this text is very careful to say that even what the Father gives, uh, uh, I know and he will give you a good thing. He said that whatever the Father gives also is mine. That is why the, the, the Trinity, uh, as also the vicar shared with, it, with us very well, it is inseparable. You cannot speak of the Holy Spirit without the Father and without uh, 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 the Son. Why? Because they, they, are, they are three persons. They are uh, uh, three persons, but in one, uh, uh, in one substance. One God in three, uh, uh, one God in three persons. Because in, in verse 14, it says that he will bring glory to me by taking from me what is mine and making known to you. So is the Father taking from Jesus what belongs to him and made it known to us. And all that belongs to the Father is mine. So the, 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 the unity how united they are. That is why I say that the Spirit will make, will take from me what is mine and make it known to you. So basically, when it comes to the truth or to the spirit of truth, is that the spirit or it is what is revealed to us and it is what is shared to us from one stage to another. Therefore, friend, even as we continue to seek God today, being our day of prayer, and even when we come to the church to pray, can we have uh, moments of asking God or asking ourselves, are we truthful people? Let us have a moment of crying to the Lord that he can open our mind, that he may know whatever we are doing, things that are not truthful, he may help us to come into terms with it or to come uh, 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 to our senses and correct it and seek God to lead us and to live a life of truthfulness by his Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.